So this model is the human vertebral column model. And so this starts essentially showing our spinal cord. So this structure down the middle here is our spinal cord. So that whole structure there is the spinal cord. That groove right in the middle of the spinal cord is the anterior median fissure. So that groove right down the middle of it is the anterior median fissure. As we follow the spinal cord out here, you'll see that it kind of looks a little frayed-like. And this area is called the cauda equina. So that is the cauda equina. Cauda equina literally means horse tail because of its resemblance to a horse's tail. So this structure here going down along the side of the spinal cord, and on this model they're just showing it on one side, is the sympathetic chain ganglion. So that is the sympathetic chain ganglion. Now, looking up here, we see this inner working of nerves. We see these nerves coming off and then they mesh together right here. And where nerves mesh together, we call that a plexus. And this is heading out to the arm, so this is known as the brachial plexus. So that is the brachial plexus. I took my hand and extended it this way. You see that my thumb is on top here and the arm bone that is attached or, or close to my thumb here is thumb side, that is the radius. The one that is on the pinky side is the ulna. And so we need to remember that when we are looking at these three nerves here. Because the top one, just as I lay my hand out here, is the radial nerve. The bottom one is the ulnar nerve, and the middle one is the median nerve. So, radial nerve, median nerve, ulnar nerve. If we move down here to this plexus, this inner meshing of nerves, this plexus is known as the lumbar plexus. So this is the lumbar plexus here. We see a big nerve that comes off of that plexus, and that is the femoral nerve. So that nerve right there is the femoral nerve. We see another plexus down here. So here we're getting another intermeshing of nerves. And this is in the sacral region, so that is the sacral plexus. So that is the sacral plexus. We do get a large nerve coming off of that one right here and that is the sciatic nerve. So that nerve right there is the sciatic nerve. So this is the sacral plexus, this is the sciatic nerve. Now let's move back to the middle of this model here and zoom in on this area. So this side is cut just a little deeper in and so when you see this structure right there and there and there, that is the dorsal root. So that is the dorsal root of a spinal nerve. So that is the dorsal root. Over here, you see this one right here, it's labeled number seven. That is the ventral root of a spinal nerve. And this little swelling here that you see on either side of that ventral root, that is the dorsal root ganglion. So that is the dorsal root ganglion. So this is the ventral root, that's the dorsal root ganglion, and then we see on the other side where it's labeled number eight, that is the dorsal root.